some good looks on our Coachella cam this evening. A nice silhouette of the mountains as the sun is starting to set and it's feeling a little bit chilly out there, not just because of cooler temperatures, but because winds are slightly breezy. And as those winds remain breezy following yesterday's gusty conditions, we continue to have concerns for air quality. So that's why we've left that first alert weather alert in effect uh, for today and into early tomorrow. So a couple of different tips that you'll want to consider. You might as well keep your doors and windows shut. Now I know that it probably looks looks pretty clear out there and maybe it's not as dusty of a view as what we've maybe grown familiar with in certain spots like the washes when those winds start to pick up, but it's small particulate matters that make a difference. And if you're not running your AC or your air purifier, those can settle and make for not great breathing situations for you. And in general, you want to just avoid any rigorous outdoor activity until after we get through this air quality alert. Again, this will expire tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Things steadily improving in the overnight hours with our winds and air quality getting a chance to fully recover after such gusty and dusty conditions yesterday. So nice clearer conditions ahead as we look toward tonight though still gusty for a few spots by 9 p.m. We still got a nice stretch from Whitewater into Thousand Palms where we could see gusts upwards of 25 miles per hour and then continuing to see most of that wind really sticking right around I 10 as we move into the morning hours though you can see it's much lighter wind after that point. We'll keep up this onshore flow through your Monday, but I'm not really expecting all too gusty of conditions, but again, it's a continuous monitoring situation for areas like the washes where we continue to work with all of that sand and dust getting tossed up into the air and lowering visibility so quickly. But one of the benefits of winds coming on through is much cooler temperatures, 70s for the valley right now, even a little chilly for some daytime highs settled in the mid to upper 80s for most spots, but an average daytime high would be in the mid to upper 90s. 90s will be back, of course, not just yet, but we're going to work our way back up. But hopefully uh, you don't need too many extra layers as we head into the overnight hours. 50s in the early morning hours, 60s as we start things off outdoors for tomorrow and 70s working our way into the low 80s by the early afternoon, mid 80s expected for daytime highs for tomorrow, but still pretty comfortable conditions out there. And again, at times a little breezy, but not too dramatic. We'll keep that first alert weather alert in place until 6 a.m. tomorrow. After that, just a nice day in the mid 80s and a gradual warming process. One note I will make ridge of high pressure builds in general. Southern California will be seeing a Santa Ana wind trend here. We don't typically see those impacts too much, but we may be working with elevated fire weather. So that's something we'll be monitoring for you in the days to come.